it's all around us. A simple element with complex behavior found in volcanic eruptions and diamond earrings, a liter of gasoline, and every living thing on Earth. It's carbon, and it drives our world. Carbon drives life. Plants, algae, and some bacteria use the sun's energy to convert carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. They use the carbs to power their cells, as do the animals that eat the plants and each other. When they burn that energy, they breathe out carbon dioxide, and the cycle starts all over again. Carbon drives our global economy, like the carbon in coal, oil, and natural gas. We burn their carbon to power cars and generate electricity. There are billions of tons of carbon in our atmosphere, our oceans, our land, and in us. Yet that's only about 10% of Earth's carbon. The rest is deep underground. It's deep carbon. And though we know a little about it, we've barely scratched the surface. That is changing. The Deep Carbon Observatory is plunging far beneath Earth's surface to figure out the answers to some key questions. How much carbon is down there? Where did it originate? What forms does it take? How does it move? The dive is awesome. Descending to 200 meters. After just 200 meters, we've drilled past the deepest infrastructure of our cities. Descending to four kilometers. At the four kilometer mark, we've gone as far as the deepest mine and struck gold. But let's go deeper. Descending to five kilometers. This far down, temperatures reach 120 degrees Celsius. Pressure is 1,500 times greater than at the surface. But even here, carbon may be able to sustain life. Vast numbers of microbes in string-like films that may endure for centuries, maybe even millions of years. Extreme life under extreme conditions that may explain how life began on Earth. Squeeze life. Bake it for millions of years, and it transforms into hydrocarbon fuels like oil. Descending to 12 kilometers. We've now reached the bottom of the deepest oil wells, and the deepest humans have ever drilled. There may be undiscovered deposits of hydrocarbons even further below, created under extreme conditions. At this depth, temperatures top 1,100 degrees Celsius, and pressures are now 50,000 times the pressure at the surface. Keep carbon in this geological pressure cooker, and what do you get? The international symbol of love, a diamond. These conditions may also produce exotic forms of carbon unknown to science. This far down, carbon interacts with all the other elements found in Earth to form a vast array of minerals. It moves in a cycle lasting tens, if not hundreds of millions of years, from the surface into deep reservoirs. How much do they hold? How long does carbon stay down there? Because what goes down comes back up. It moves up and up and escapes out of vents and volcanoes, out to the surface where it has shaped our world for billions of years. But we're not completely sure how. We need answers, and we've already started looking. The Deep Carbon Observatory consists of a 1,000 scientists in 40 countries. They're collaborating for a decade creating new technologies, 
expanding global monitoring systems, and generating accessible databases. Working together to unravel some of the greatest mysteries known to science, including the origins of life through this single amazing element, carbon. Explore it with us. The Deep Carbon Observatory.